Welcome to Mile High Reefers. I'm Scott Anderson, and it's time to upgrade my cleaning crew again. I've got a few problems I'm dealing with, so stick around so you can see how I'm solving some of the problems in my tank. As much as possible, I try to buy my animals for my tank from my local fish stores. Now there's been a few things that just haven't been available at the stores in the last couple of months. So I placed an order with Live Aquaria. Now if you've watched my channel, you probably know that I've had problems with Live Aquaria when it comes to coral. But when it comes to fish and cleanup crew members, they've always done really good for me. So I placed an order with them. Now this video is not sponsored by Live Aquaria, so anything I say about them is my own opinion. I've opened my boxes and I am totally disappointed. So I ordered some fish as cleanup crew members. So I got the bicolor blunny. Dude looks fine. I also ordered three yellow chorus wrasses to take care of some flatworms in the 210 gallon tank. Guess what's not in the box? Oh, I'm so mad. This is ridiculous. I ordered them. They're not here. Guess we'll give them a call. See what they say. I'm on hold right now with the Live Aquarius supervisor. I'm trying to find out what's the policy when your fish don't show up. What are they going to do for us? I just got off the phone with the supervisor from Live Aquarius. Nice enough fellow. But basically, I found out what the, what's going on. First, they have other companies, I guess, that they ship from. So they don't really control their own inventory. So they're showing on their website that they're still available. I wasn't given any sort of email or anything saying that I wasn't getting my chorus rasses. The only clue I would have had was the tracking only showed the bicolor blood. And I didn't actually look at the tracking to make sure everything was on it because the order confirmation shows the chorus rasses on it. So I talked to this supervisor and ask what's the policy what can you guys expect when your sh fish doesn't show up basically it's gonna go on back order and then when they have some if they get some they'll send you an email and they'll ship it out well that doesn't really work for me because I have an odd schedule and I'm not really able to pick them up at a certain time and it's just not gonna work unfortunately I'm not getting my yellow chorus rasses. I'm super disappointed. That's the whole reason I placed this order. Now, this video is negative and I didn't mean it to be. So let's get on to the fun stuff. Now, all this stuff I would have bought from a local store because it's really easy to get. But let's go over it because it's still pretty cool. So first, our peppermint shrimp. I ordered six of them. Peppermint shrimp are good for lots of cleaning. They can also eat up tasty, and I'm putting these guys in the frag tank. I got some Astria snails, good algae cleaners, going in the frag tanks. And I've got a little bubble algae, so I'm putting some emerald crabs in the frag tank. So I'm really working to clean this frag tank up. So let's get everybody acclimated. I have the bicolor blenny temperature acclimating in my QT tank. Now every fish that comes in gets QT because I just cannot risk a disease getting in the big display. Now I'm temperature acclimating because the bag was cold. You'll see a lot of times people will drip acclimate a fish outside of the main display. You don't always get the water temperature up as well that way. So I'm temperature acclimating and then instead of using a drip system, I will be adding a shot glass of water to the bag every 10 minutes or so. And I have the lights off to reduce stress to the fish. And it's the same deal for the cleanup crew. They're floating in the frag tank that's getting redone with the lights off. It's the same water as the frag tank they'll be going in. So I'm gonna acclimate in here. No light, less stress. Now it's time to add some water to the bag. First thing you're gonna notice when you order from a lot of places is the fish is gonna have a metal clip on it on the bag, right? So I got a pair of dikes and I cut them off. There we go. Now, what we wanna do is add a couple shot glasses of water to this. One, two. So we're trying to get temperature right and we're trying to get them used to the water. You can totally drip. 
I just do it this way, especially with a fairly hearty fish like a blenny. So I blow up the bag, and then instead of putting a rubber band around the neck on a tank like this, I just grab one of these handy dandy clips, clip it there, it doesn't blow around, it holds it in place, and it's so easy. Now I just gotta go downstairs, rinse, repeat, nothing to it. I won't even bother showing you guys that part. Let's take a minute and talk about what I got. So the acclimation process is done, and I'm rinsing everything in tank water. That's why the water is so clean. They're being rinsed in tank water to make sure that there's no parasites like ick or marine velvet in the water. Totally possible there still is, but this helps. So I've got astrea snails here, and these are going to help with a little bit of microalgae that's growing in the frag tank and a little tiny bit of hair algae. I'm getting on it early to help keep the problem from becoming a real problem. Next up are the peppermint shrimp. Now, the main reason I bought these is hopefully they're going to eat some aptasia in the frag tank. I have an aptasia eating file fish, and hopefully these guys will help him out. Next up are the emerald crabs. These guys are primarily going in the tank to keep some bubble algae down. There's not a lot in there, and I'd like to keep it that way. Last but not least is the bicolor blending. Now, beyond just looking cool and being gorgeous, these guys are algae eaters, so he does a job in the tank. I've got plenty of tangs. I didn't really need him for a cleanup crew member, but he is one. It's fantastic, and he's so cute. I almost didn't make this video, but I really feel like I need to accurately represent my story in my situation. So, for me, Live Aquaria has been pretty hit or miss as to the quality of what they send me and whether or not they get it right. So a lot of times, they've just sent me the wrong stuff. I ordered a striped Darasa and got a blue rim Darasa completely the wrong clam. It lives downstairs in my frag tank. They did refund my money, but it was the wrong clam. I would have been much happier getting the right clam for my money. And I've also ordered a bubble tip anemone from them and got a sebe. Same deal. Wrong one. Would have been happier with the right one. I ordered the three-piece acro kit, kind of a beginner pack to get you into acros where they say they hand pick them and you're gonna get something awesome, but you don't really know what you're gonna get. And what I got was three acros that were just terrible. Two were dead, one was almost dead, and that's just not how you get people started in acros. They did refund my money, but it was still disappointing and a lot of work to get my money back. With the yellow chorus rasses, I didn't pay for them, and they did offer me a gift card, but honestly, I discount off my next order doesn't really help me. So where do I go from here? Well, to be honest, I feel like I've gone to a restaurant that every time I go in there, they overcook the food. They have a great reputation, but every time I go in, I just get crap. So I won't be ordering from them again. I will say, to their credit, they've gotten some stuff right. Every time I've ordered their build your own cleanup crews, those have come out right. I can totally recommend those to anybody looking to go that route. They did get my Bangai Cardinals right. They've been in that tank for four years or so, and they're doing really well four years on. So they've gotten a few things right, but unfortunately, they've gotten enough wrong that I personally am moving on. So I'd love to know in the comments column, how is your experience with Live Aquaria been? If you're not buying from Live Aquaria, where are you buying online that consistently gets it right, that has the rare fish and coral that you're looking for? I'd love to know that also. Now, there's a good chance I won't be able to get to every comment there, but I read them all and I really appreciate them. So thank you for watching this episode of Mile High Reefers. Like, comment, and subscribe. And next year week, we should be back on to regular programming.